Welcome to H.G. McCracken Middle School, home of the Bulldog Nation. I'm Mr. Woodring, going to be your social studies teacher uh, during your sixth grade year, and I'm really excited that you're going to be here. This video is going to uh, show you some things that you're going to need to help you be successful in my class. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to be uh, studying this year is based on the South Carolina State uh, sixth grade social studies standards, and they're going, or we're going to be uh, looking at uh, cultures all over the world in uh, Europe, Asia, Africa, the Americas, and we're going to learn uh, basically how people lived from ancient times, even prehistory times, all the way to about 1600. Uh, we'll be learning about their contributions uh, to history, some of the great things that they did, uh, the governments that uh, they formed, um, the geography of those things, the arts, uh, the way um, people did their arts, and the way people lived uh, especially. We'll also be taking a look at religion. Okay, We're going to be learning about the, uh, uh, the way people developed religion and the ancient religions, polytheism or whatever. But we'll also be talking about the major world religions that we know about today. Uh, which will include Christianity, Judaism, Islam, um, Buddhism, Hinduism, uh, uh, Shintoism, and some of the, uh, philo the philosophies of Confucianism and Taoism. Uh, again, just kind of learning how these religions got started and some of the basic beliefs uh, that these people who uh, practice those religions, uh, what they believe in. So what is it uh, you're going to need to bring to class every day? Well, uh, a notebook, uh, a three-ring binder, as you can see, with paper so that you can write things down. There'll be uh, occasions you may have to take some notes or write other things. And of course, if you've got to write stuff, okay, you're going to need pencils sharpen pencils, make sure they're ready to go at the beginning of the class. Okay, on occasion I'll be giving you papers, so one of these will be very handy. Uh, it's a uh, notebook three ring punch, and it just fits inside your notebook right there. Very handy thing to have. Nice little straight edge, help you out there. Okay, occasionally we'll be um, doing some drawing, um, coloring, especially maps, things like that. So. Colored pencils, definitely big must. And of course, a pencil sharpener. I don't have one, not planning on getting one. Okay, pencil sharpener. So that way, if you need it, you got it right there with you and you don't have to uh, spend a lot of time trying to go to the pencil sharpener, get your pencil sharpener and go back to your seat. Okay, you're gonna be uh, issued a tablet. Okay, uh, not this particular kind, but you'll be getting one. Make sure you bring this with you each day to school. Make sure it's charged and ready to go. But just in case, make sure you also bring your charger for the tablet in case the batteries die. These tablets are getting a little bit long in the tooth and things happen to them. So be very careful with them and make sure you bring uh, those things. Also, earbuds, okay? We'll be doing lots of uh, videos, just kind of like what you're seeing. You may even be creating them, and some uh, nice earbuds would be very helpful uh, for you to listen to uh, video lessons and other things that you're doing so that you're not disturbing other students. And then finally, make sure it's all in your bag. Okay, this is the only bag you're allowed to bring into class. I'll discuss more about what uh, to leave uh, either at home or in the locker in just a minute, but make sure. Okay, tablet bag, tablet, earbuds, charger. Okay, here's some things that uh, you need to leave um, either in your home or in your locker. Okay, first off, book bag, all right? Yes, you're going to need to bring them to school, but they need to be in your locker once you get all the materials you'll need for your classes. You'll be given some time periodically to go get your stuff and uh, 
so you can be ready for class. But you don't need to be carrying these around. That also includes these, okay? Drawstring bags, all right? They're considered a backpack, don't bring them. Toys, okay? Toys, don't need to bring these things, okay? I got this fidget spinner here, all right? These things need to be preferably left at home, but uh, definitely leave them in your locker, all right? They become a distraction and they can get you into uh, trouble. And finally, phones, okay? If you do bring your phone, make sure the ringer is off uh, and that it's put away. Do not bring your phone out for any reason unless I have given you specific permission. All right, so you can't answer your text, uh, you can't be playing games or anything like on, on your phone or even on your tablet that we issue you. Uh, let's take a minute here and discuss uh, food and drinks. First off, food, no go. All right, food is only supposed to be eaten in the cafeteria and that's it. All right, so don't be bringing anything in here to eat, okay? Also drinks. All right, the only thing, water in a sealed container. All right, anything else, Powerades, Gatorades, juice, sodas, okay, not allowed. All right, so remember that. You can also bring a bottle to put water in. That's perfectly okay. Uh, I do that myself all the time. But again, make sure, sealed container. We don't want to make any messes. Um, in the classroom. Let me talk a minute about uh, classroom rules. There really aren't many, two in fact. Uh, the first one is uh, respect each other, okay? That means keep your hands to yourself, uh, talk nicely about each other, okay? Don't uh, try to antagonize each other or laugh at them if somebody makes a mistake or does something you think is funny because, well, it may happen to you and you wouldn't want anybody laughing or anything like that. And keeping your hands to yourself, okay, nobody likes to be uh, punched or shoved or touched uh, in any way. And no matter what you think might be funny, it may be funny to you, but it's not necessarily funny to others. So keep that in mind. The other rule is respect the classroom and everything in it. That means all the materials that I have, any uh, supplies, any equipment, the desk, uh, walls, all right, anything that you use uh, during your daily instruction, don't mess with it. Don't uh, try to tear it up. Don't try to write on things, all right? It's just wrong. Would you do that in your own home, in your room, or in your living room? What would your parents say if you started tearing things up? Probably get into some trouble. So save yourself the aggravation, all right? Remember the rules. They're very simple. Respect each other and respect the classroom. Okay, that uh, pretty much takes care of uh, most of the things you're gonna really need to know uh, as far as the uh, class is concerned, except for this. To be successful in my class, you need to do your work, all right? No substitute for it, all right? So make sure you do your assignments, do them on time. Uh, if you're having trouble with them, let me know that you're having some problems with these things. Um, also, if I find out that you're having trouble, I may give you alternate assignments, uh, especially if uh, you don't bring all your tools, uh, mainly the tablet, all right? So make sure you, you bring all your stuff so you can uh, be fully en engaged and learn what you need to. But um, again, uh, just do your work. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems and you won't have to try to make up stuff at the end of the quarter, uh, semester, or even the school year just to try to get through. All right, do those things. I guarantee you'll have a successful school year and you'll actually have a lot of fun uh, this year as well. All right, looking forward to seeing you uh, in my class and working with you this school year.